Hi, uh, it's day 27 and in our New to Old Testament reading today we're looking at Job's, uh, Job 4, 5, 6 and 7. And one of the things we didn't comment on yesterday was the response of his friends. In the light of everything that had happened to Job and just how devastated he, his life had become, they just sat with him in silence, and which is such a great picture of friendship, I think. But unfortunately, that didn't continue. And from today and for quite a while to come, what we're going to encounter is then the friends coming up with their theories and their explanation and their words of advice and comfort to Job in what he's going through. And we begin today with Eliphaz. And Eliphaz is more gentle than some of the other responses that are to come. You know, he starts off by saying, you're a really good man. You're a righteous man. Um, but then he basically goes on to say, so probably because you're righteous, we can assume that God has not turned away from you. Instead, this is his discipline. And not only is it his discipline, but you should consider yourself lucky. You should consider yourself blessed that you are being disciplined in this way. So it says in chapter 5, verse 17, blessed is the man whom God corrects. Don't despise the discipline of the Almighty. So yeah, he's saying this is what God is doing. He's trying to like shave the rough ed edges off you and he's using this horrendous calamity to do it. Well, thanks for that, Eliphaz. And then Job, it's almost like, and we're going to see this again as time goes on, Job doesn't even come back at that. Um, so Job is the next person to speak, but he doesn't sort of say, well, Eliphaz, let me come back at you on that. It's almost like, you know, the two just kind of go straight past each other. It's almost like, you know, Job is just saying, you've got no idea. These are just your theories. These are your, this is your guesswork, your best guess, but it doesn't relate to my life and my pain. And Job goes through lots of things. It's hard reading today, as it's going to be some of it, because this is just painful. Job is just longing for death. He just wants this to be over. But one of the things that he says that I think is key for us today is in chapter 6, verse 14, he says, A despairing man should have the devotion of his friends. But my brothers are as undependable as intermittent streams. So in the same way that streams flow fast when there's lots of rain around, but then at different seasons they nearly dry up and all of that. He's saying, I cannot count on you. Um, but surely a man in my position should at least be able to count on his friends. And I think for us today, you know, the truth is we are going to encounter people who are in need today and this week, this month. And I think one thing would be great for all of us just to um, be asking God is, can you, by your Holy Spirit, um, be making me into the sort of person that can be a dependable friend who someone else can rely on, that I, that I don't fluctuate, that I don't change with the seasons, that I'm not one, this one way, one day and another, 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 another day, um, but that I am dependable because that's what people around us in need need. Um, and I think the other thing is, of course, some of us are ourselves struggling today. And the promise of God is that he is more faithful than a brother and he loves us and that he is right there with us. So uh, I pray that you know uh, the friendship of God today and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.